okay next uh, we'll do differentiator using uh, op amp so for that circuit diagram is this so you have to pick on uh, op amp okay so go to place component okay then uh, you have to go to analog op amp in the op amp 741 okay after that uh, you have to place one uh, positive voltage to seventh terminal and fourth terminal minus ve set the voltage to 15 and minus 15 and rf feedback resistance rf is label you have to separate on r resistor value in the basic group and capacitor you have to pick and uh, resistor one more and rl one more resistor and for this we require square wave as the input okay for that i think uh, you can see in the integrator and differentiator op amp circuit okay this is the circuit we are going to differentiator so if you give square wave as the input output is spikes you should get okay in the integrator square wave will be converted into triangular wave in the differentiator square wave if you give it should give you uh, spikes so now we'll do that so rf is taken as a thousand c is 0.1 so this is required otherwise your output will not amplify so we should use some series resistance okay so rf by r two times is going to amplify so this is a optional component if you use this one you will get proper output okay now uh, we'll we for this you require go to sources then place component so in the place component you have to select signal a signal voltage source okay group is voltage source uh, sources in the sources select signal voltage sources there you type pulse voltage or you can also do select group as all sources all groups all families all groups all families you type pulse voltage you will get this symbol this is if you want to give some square wave you have to use this one okay so now if you want you can place here so after that we have to give some values okay values here so initial value is minus one this is plus one then it actually it is varying from minus one to plus one or you can give minus five to plus five that is left to you rise time fall time you give one and a second one and a second Pulse width is actually 0.5 millisecond. I will show which is pulse width. And period is 1 millisecond. In the square wave, okay, I will show you. In the square wave, this is pulse width. This pulse width is 0.5 millisecond. And period is this much. From here to here it is, and its initial value is minus 1 volt to plus 1 volt. Minus 1 plus 1, that you have to give. Initial value start value uh, level 1 level 2 you have to give and pulse width you have to give and total time period you have to give so those settings you have to give here initial value minus 1 plus 1 rise time fall time means from 0 to high it will go to in nanoseconds and again from high to low it will come in nanosecond pulse width is 0.5 millisecond period is 1 millisecond and it is 1 volt so now this is how to set the square wave. So now simulate this. We are used only one oscilloscope which connected to here. If you want, you can connect uh, input to see the square wave. It is connected to this. So now I'll change this color to input. I will change the color to uh, blue color output I'll change it to green color okay now simulate yes you can see here 
So one I'll ground. Okay, this is output. Okay. Blue color is actually input. This is input. Okay. Minus one two plus one. So scale I will change this to one. And this is actually so one node and you can see here negative pulse this is negative pulse is inverted and it's coming positive spikes positive pulse is inverted and coming negative pulse because we are giving input to inverting terminal this is negative inverting terminal so you can see in the textbook also negative pulse negative side this will come we are getting positive spikes and in the positive portion we are getting negative spikes because it is an inverting integrator so same thing we are getting here okay so wherever you want spikes okay then you have to make use of differentiator circuit so this is the output of differentiator